Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 demo on creating and managing electronic payments. This demo will show you how easy it is to create and manage electronic payments in NAV 2015. This demo will cover setup, creating a payment proposal and exporting to a payment file, managing open documents for which payment exports have been previously made, as well as tracking payment history and re-exporting electronic payments. Let's get started. Click the down arrow next to batch name. The general journal batches window will pop up. Under the home tab in the new group, choose new. For our example, we are in Cronus USA, but this is also applicable to international using VAT. We'll now proceed to create a payment proposal. To make sure that postings in our system are correct and reflect as accurately as possible the true cash status, we do not want to post the payments until we have confirmed from the bank that the payments have been received. Enter the date when the window pops up. We want to create payment for purchase invoices up until the 4th of February. To optimize our cash flow, we want the payments to be executed by the bank on the due date, and therefore we select Calculate Posting Date from the Applies to Doc Date field. This means that the due date is inserted in the Posting Date field when we use the Suggest Vendor Payment function. Notice that the system has automatically inserted a posting date that corresponds to the date in the Applies to Doc Due Date field for each document. When we later create the payment file, the system will insert the date from the posting date field as the execution date for the payment in the bank. The system has proposed text in the message to recipient field that refers to the external document number on the purchase invoice that is being paid. This will be inserted in the payment file as remittance info. For the recipient bank account, the system has proposed what bank account to transfer the payment to. The proposed account corresponds to the preferred bank account that is set up for each vendor. Let's adjust the amount being paid. The goods sent from this vendor did not match expectations, so we can make a partial payment. We are now happy with the payment proposal and are ready to create the electronic file by using the Export Payments to File function. After we save the file on our hard drive, we can log on to our web bank and upload the file for processing in the bank. Also notice that the amounts have been updated to reflect the payment export. To investigate the payment export history for a document further, select a line and use the Credit Transfer Register Entries function. This shows details about any payment exports that are made for this open document. We're now done with the payment process. Let's delete the lines in the payment journal. We do this because we do not want to post any payments until we have confirmation from the bank that the payments are executed. We'll want to wait and register the payments in the Payment Reconciliation Journal window as they are executed. We'll now demonstrate how to deal with electronic payments for the WWB Your account covering invoices that are due up until the 5th of February. At this point, the previous payments are still not posted, and we'll show how to avoid accidentally paying vendors twice. As you can see, because we checked the Skip Exported Payments checkbox, the system only proposed payments for open documents which have not been exported and subsequently uploaded to our web bank, in our case. In other words, the Exported to Payment file and Total Exported Amount field should both be empty for the proposed payments, ensuring that the previously exported lines are not part of this payment proposal. This concludes our NAV 2015 demo on creating and managing electronic payments.